Namaskar. Today I am going to discuss with you about infertility. Infertility is a very common problem in the modern age and we are seeing that more and more people, more and more couples are not able to produce children. The reasons we have to always find out you know. Sometimes people come to us, the couples come to us in our clinic and they say all the reports are normal. Both male and female reports are normal and they are not able to conceive a child. So in Ayurveda there is a very beautiful description about this which is wonderful you know. Ayurveda compares this uh, producing of child like planting the seed in a field. So they say the quality of seed is the first important factor for producing a child. The second thing which is very important is the field itself and the third is the proper time to plant the seed. What I am trying to say that both males and females should have good quality of seeds which means the sperms should be good quality. Good quality here does not only mean just the number of the sperms or the sperm count but the potency of the sperm which is often not counted or not uh, you know uh, checked in the modern medicine. In Ayurveda we call it Shukra Dhatu. Shukra Dhatu should be good quality, potent. So that is very very important. Similarly the quality and the potency of the egg of the female should also be good. Then it will be the right or the good quality of seed. Second thing the uterus which is the field where the seed is to be planted should also be healthy. There should be no uh, problems, no toxins, there should be not too much acidic medium and all that. And third thing is proper time. Proper time means the fertile period. The male and female partners should meet only at the right time means the fertile time when the egg is ready to take the sperm. So, and once the conception has taken place because lot of people they, they conceive but there is miscarriages, abortions happen in the first three months. So that is because the, there could be a weakness in the seeds potency or after the conception has taken place there was not proper nourishment for the fetus which means like when you put the plant, when we will seed a plant we need to put proper watering and all the fertilizer and everything is, it should be uh, provided, nourishment to be provided. So the first three months are very crucial. In Ayurveda they have described a wonderful description about all this conception. That is why in Jiva we have actually created a program it is called Jiva Ayur Baby program. Those of you who are suffering from infertility, those of you who are not able to conceive children and even those of you who are healthy and want to produce good children should follow this program Jiva Ayur Baby program which consists of three parts. The first section is preconception. Before conception how both partners should prepare themselves physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And then the second part is pregnancy like uh, when the female has become pregnant then all the nine months there is a pregnancy care. And the third portion is postnatal care which is after the delivery of the child, how to nourish the child, how to take care of the mother after delivery. This is a beautiful program. So in Ayurveda there is a uh, very nice concept and very nice description and you will be surprised to know that sometimes people who have been trying all types of treatments for years, they have not been successful in producing a child but when they come to Ayurveda within a few months, maximum three to six months we have seen wonderful results. So there is nothing to worry, Ayurveda has wonderful solutions because Ayurveda always goes to the root of the problem. We always try to find out where is the problem. If there is a blockage in the tube then we try to open the tube which is called Shroto Shuddhi, opening the channels. If there is a problem with the potency, if there is a problem with the sperm quality, if there is a problem with the Shukra Dhatu, we try to go to the root of the problem and try to solve the problem and that is why Ayurveda can give very good results and I am very surprised that sometimes people have tried many many different types of uh, things including intrauterine fertilization and other type of you know uh, uh, modern techniques but they are not successful. But in Ayurveda just with simple principles, simple diet and simple uh, procedures of treatments including panchakarma treatments 
we have wonderful results. Uh, to conclude, I would like to also mention a very important thing that conceiving a child or producing a child is not just a physical union of two people. There is a union of two bodies, two minds, two souls. So therefore, it is not just a physical relation. The two partners should have emotional bond, they should have also a spiritual connection, soul to soul connection and this of course also can sometimes become a very important cause of infertility. Sometimes there are uh, husband and, and wife, but there is not very strong emotional bond or there is no soul connection that can also lead to infertility. So in Ayurveda we do suggest partners to make a connection at all levels and then it is definitely uh, there will be a beautiful child, Ayurvedic child and the problem of infertility can be solved like this. For uh, of course any other uh, issues, if you have any other problems, you can always contact us. But before I end, I would like to tell that you should uh, both, both partners, the male and female can take one uh, very nice home remedy. Uh, there is a, if you can find it, you know, it is a banyan tree, bark of the banyan tree should be made into powder and both partners should take one teaspoonful of each, um, one teaspoonful of this powder, uh, each partner should take with milk or uh, with water once a day, take it for two, three months continuously. Otherwise, if you cannot find it, you can very easily find for the female, shatavari is very good, one teaspoonful shatavari twice a day with milk. For the males, ashwagandha is very good. One teaspoonful ashwagandha only once a day will be sufficient and take it for two, three months and even these things can give you wonderful results. So I wish you a good uh, uh, fertile life and I think you will be able to have a beautiful Ayurvedic child. Thank you very much. Namaskar.